Hey guys, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use an iOS device to be able to do your homework using Google Classroom. So there's a couple of apps you're going to need to download in order for this to work correctly. And I know a lot of students have had issues going to their browser on their phones, like Safari, for example, and trying to do it through there. Um, or they just have the Google Classroom app and just that. And you're going to need a couple of them. You're also going to need the Google Docs app to be able to do all of this. Um, so if you've had any issues with an iPad or an iPhone on getting on Google Classroom to do your homework, this is the video for you. If you have an Android device, then I'm assuming the process is very similar, the only difference being that you would go on to the Google Play Store to download the apps rather than the App Store. So let's get started. In order to get into a class, you're going to download the Google Classroom app and then you're going to hit the Google Classroom icon and open up that app. Now once you've done that, you're going to type in your email address. And not just any email address, but the one that we provided for you guys at CTEA. So in this case, I created a dummy account. And it is Einstein. The last four digits of his student ID is 1879. And you have to be sure to include at hs4ctea.org. Now I've worked with like 10 students over the past week and each time I have them log in they either type hs the number 4 ctea.org or they put .com or they don't put in at hs for ctea.org or they use their home like their own personal email. You have to use your CTA Google account for this to work. And make sure it's your last name. Some students are putting their first name or just putting their last name and they're missing the last four digits of their student ID. So make sure you do that correctly. And once I've set up the account, I'm going to click Next so I can type in my password. And I've already gone ahead and created a fake password, ASDF1234, and then a question mark at the end. And when you create your account, you're going to want to set your password to something you'll remember. Do not make it ASDF1234 and then a question mark. But that's the one I did for Einstein over here. And he hits Next, and I'm not going to save it onto my phone. So now that you end up at this screen, I don't have any classes because Einstein has to put in his class code in order to get into his classes. So what he'll do is he'll, type, he'll hit the button over here on the top right, this little plus sign, and type in the class code that your teacher has provided. So MD4V1L is the class code for my period one living environment. So don't type in this class code. You're going to want to put in the class code that your teacher provided for you or gave you. Okay? And then you're going to hit join. And now Einstein can see that he is in my class and he can see that three of his assignments are late. And at the bottom we have an announcement, we have the syllabus. So you can go through that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a homework on the actual phone where a lot of students have a lot of problems. So, for example, let's say he wants to complete homework for observations and inferences. So he taps the link, and this page opens up. This is where he'll end up turning it in once he's done completing the homework. So at this page, he's going to want to hit the attachment to open up the Google Doc. Now, if you do not have the Google Doc app, all you'll be able to do is see the homework. But you won't be able to type in it. You will be able to draw on it and you will be able to add text boxes, but it comes out really messy, and it's going to be really difficult to use. So you'll, you're going to want to download the Docs app. If you don't, it's going to be just a, a really, really difficult. So once you've downloaded the Google Docs app, now you're going to be able to open up the attachment in Google Docs. Okay, so this is what it would look like to everyone, but in order to write on it, in order to actually type in it, you're going to hit the button at the top right, right next to that little pen mark. So once I've done that, it opens up my Google Docs app, and it should log me in, and it has. If it doesn't log you in, you might have to type in your email and password, the CTA email and password. Okay, so now I can see the homework, I can go through it, I can read it. All right, if there's something that you like can't see, just drag your finger, use your finger to move around. I actually added a little bug there as a kind of a joke. Uh, I think it annoyed a couple of students, they like smacked their screens. Where it says name, if you want to actually start typing in the homework, you're going to click on the bottom right. Let me just go back and show you guys that. If you want to actually start typing, on the bottom right, you see that little blue circle with a, with a pencil inside? You're going to tap that button, and now you're going to be able to type. 
So if Albert is doing his homework, Albert Einstein, if I could spell it correctly, he'll be able to type right in the Google Doc right here. And he's in my section, I think it's section three class. Okay. And then he reads the observations. And then he has the first question here. What does composed mean? So Albert, being the great student that he is, types in composed means blah, blah, blah. Okay. There we go. I continue. Inferences. And then I can type in and I could add comments to that. And then he can make his one inference. LOL. Okay, so okay, Albert is done with his homework. So he swipes all the way up and he will tap the little check mark at the top left of the app. Okay? And that means that you're done adding the any comments or any words or anything that you wanted to type out. And now you're not done yet. You have to turn in the assignment. So once Albert's all done with this, he's going to go either back or he's going to go to the classroom app at the top left. iOS lets you go back to the last app that you used. It might look a little different for you if you're using iOS 9, but you could either can't like back out and go into back into the Google Classroom account or I'm going to just tap the classroom button. And now that he's done with his homework, he's going to hit the turn in button and the teacher will get your homework. Okay. Now you'll notice that the turn in button becomes an unsubmit button once you turn it in. So how this works is if you turn in an assignment before the due date, you can unsubmit it and you can fix it up. If let's say later on you remember, oh my gosh, I forgot to answer question five. Okay. You can unsubmit it, work on it a little bit more and resubmit it. And you'll be able to do that as long as before the due date of the assignment. So it's not late. Okay. And that's about it. So hopefully that helps you guys out with either log logging in or with doing a homework on your actual phone or iPad. And if you have any other questions, just put a comment inside of this, uh, below this video in the comment box in your Google Classroom account, and we'll try to get you set up.